welcome to another screencast where this time we'll be talking about signal transduction pathways and I don't know if you saw but this PowerPoint is there's a lot of slides here so I'm going to break this down into a few different uh, a few different screencasts here so um, by the end of this one uh, hopefully you'll be able to describe and explain here common features of cell communication processes right um, so this is what we're we're basically after here and then in subsequent screencasts we'll deal with B C D and E. Okay, so uh, cell communication pathways. So cells will talk with one another. Talk being, of course, uh, a metaphor here. Cells communicate with one another, and the way that they do that is by using signal molecules, right? And so these molecules here are uh, mostly proteins, right? Uh, and <coughs> the signals here, but sometimes the signals actually are. Um, uh, just chemicals themselves, right? Elements in and of themselves, right? So simple, simple things that are inorganic, right? So these would be these proteins are organic, and then the chemicals elements here are uh, inorganic. But anyway, this signal molecule has to be uh, detected, and these receptors that are on the uh, plasma membrane. So here's the here's the membrane again, phospholipid bilayer, right? So there's your fossil loop bilayer. Here's this receptor. And again, these receptors are mostly uh, protein, proteins as well. So they are usually embedded in the membrane, except for ones that are inside the cells. We'll show you a variation on that in just a second. But the signal molecules will bind, right? And so there's a binding here between, this is not working here. Uh, there's a binding between the receptor and, and the signal molecule. And that binding indicates that there's some sort of conformational uh, relationship here, right? So that this signal right, has this receptor, right? And this shape of the signal molecule right here fits with this shape of the receptor. So that, such that when the uh, signal molecule, which is oftentimes uh, also referred to as the um, primary messenger, primary messenger, uh, signal molecule. Sometimes you also hear this as, uh, as it's a ligand or a ligand, right? binds to the receptor. That binding then sets off some sort of signal transduction pathway. Now this transduction here uh, means that the signal is in some way changed. Right? Notice that the signal molecule does not itself enter, enter the cell here, right? but the information, the uh, signal is in some way changed, or we say transduced. And so the signal transduction pathway will often involve, you see here, different uh, molecules that th it could be this molecule is changing its shape, right? or that this molecule in some way causes uh, another molecule to change its shape, which causes another molecule to change its shape. shape. So these things here are often enzymes that are inactive but may become active. Um, and these things are also sometimes second messengers. Right? And so there's a whole second messenger system here right? after that signal binds with the receptor. This second messenger, these enzymes, this trend, these, these uh, so this would be like, sorry, inactive enzyme being made into an active conformation. Right? All of this transduction of the single, <laughs> the single of the signal, then leads to some sort of uh, cellular response, and this is highly varied, and it depends on what the cell is and and, and what uh, <coughs> what action is going to be performed there, right? And so this could be causing the cell to actually do something. So this could be uh, stimulatory, right? or it could also be inhibitory, meaning that the cell is doing something already and then it's being signaled to stop doing that. Right? And so we'll look at some examples here of this, but this general basic pathway, signal transduction pathways, uh, first and foremost require or have uh, as a component reception, detection of a signal, of a primary signal, the then the transduction of that single, the, of that signal changing it in some way right, to this enzyme, to the second messenger component, and then there's some sort of response here. So in all of these things, you want to be looking for this basic pattern. Right? So one more slide here. Let's take a look at just a variation on that theme. The top uh, image here, uh, we have seen, <coughs> we show you basically just a rehash of what we just did. 
where now this is cell, cell A, right? and here's cell B. So cell A is going to communicate with cell B by releasing this uh, chemical, and here this is a hormone. Right? And so we're going to call this hormone, um, or we have different examples of this hormone. But regardless, this hormone has a specific shape, a specific conformation, and it will then bind with a receptor. Here's the receptor in uh, cell B. So this cell that has this receptor is known as a target cell. So there's a target cell. That target cell, oh, look, it's labeled right here. I didn't even see that. So the cell, cell A is releasing or secreting. Here we go. Look at this. Uh, is secreting this hormone molecule communicating with this target cell by binding. That target cell then uh, will transduce that message right here. And so again, it says here, for example, at the end of this is an activated enzyme in the cytoplasm. This is then some sort of cell response. Right? And again, this is going to be highly varied. We'll look at an example there. Right? Another uh, variation on that theme is now here's your secretory cell, and it's going to secrete this hormone molecule that happens to be uh, lipid soluble. And this hormone is able to actually pass through the pass across the membrane. Right? Notice that the receptor is not on the surface of this target cell, but the receptor is inside the nucleus. So not only does it pass across the cell membrane, but it passes across the nuclear membrane here as well. And then the signal receptor is intranuclear. Right? Is intranuclear. And when that signal binds to the uh, receptor, that then activates it. Right? It turns out that in this example here, um, that this is probably some sort of transcription factor. Right? Transcription, sorry, transcription factor that was inactive, and now that transcription factor is active. And of course, what does this lead to? Well, this leads then to the activation of transcription, right? and then translation out here, and you get the synthesis of a specific protein. So this would be the cell response over here. This cell uh, is being signaled to express a gene. Right? But again, you should be able to identify that, that basic pattern of, of all signal transduction pathways. That is, signal binding to a receptor, receptor then uh, activating some sort of uh, pathway that then leads to some sort of cell response. Okay? So, uh, again, you're trying to describe and explain here the common features of cell communication processes. Okay? Thanks for listening. Bring your questions to class.